Hello everyone, this is Lamy Sane of Code Logical, and in this tutorial video we're gonna have a look at something called observers. So quickly in theory, observers basically are a way of saying to the M Valentine that anytime this property changes, run this function. Wherein proper um, computer properties are saying this property depends on these other properties that I'm specifying. So I just the value of this property um, recalculate the value based on these other values. So let's get into coding and we'll clarify what that means. So we have an index controller here and it has two properties, first name, last name. So let's just first revise quickly what computed um, properties are. So last time we made a full name property that is a function and which dependent on the um, first name and the last name. So we did something like this, first name, last name, and that's fine. Let's quickly just output that inside our script here. And we have a p and first name, and we have an input, a value which is bound to the first name. And let's just do that for the last name as well. So an input field and we are binding to last name as well, outputting it. So let's have full name here. Full name will not be bound to any input field. So back in our browser, when we refresh, as you can see, we have Jack and Power. But I think I forgot to put our full name inside here. So what did we miss? Uh, full name. Full name. Hmm. Okay, I didn't return the uh, properties. This dot get first name plus this dot get last name. Okay, so now when I refresh, we should see. Um, Jack power here, and when I change this, Jack power adjusts automatically. So that's computed properties in a quick um, explanation. So what does observables mean? Okay, sometimes it might, may not be very convenient to do something like property and bind it to it. Like sometimes you may just want to make a call to the server. For example, in a search um, box, let's say you have a property, like you want that when the first name or the last name changes, let's call a function that does a search to a server. In this tutorial, we're not going to do a call to a server, but we'll, let's as, just stick with me that that's one of the use cases because I have done it in a, another um, one of my projects before. Like I was doing a search where in um, people were searching for music um, videos. So anytime that they change the keys, um, anytime they change the search term, let's say searching for Shakira or um, Beyonce or Eminem, um, my um, application just triggers a function to call a server and then that server returns uh, the videos that I need for those artists that they're searching for. So in this case, we'll deal with just first and last name. So how do we adjust the full name? So let's just remove this. So full name will be um, an empty string to begin with. So we have this here. Um, let's refresh the browser and you can see full name is empty. So let's create another function called just full name and this is purely um, any name you can use um, it doesn't have to be adjust so what do we want to do here we want to say this dot set full name to the value of first name and the value of last name so this dot get last name Okay, but how do we trigger this function when any of these changes since we are not using pro, um, computer properties? And how we do that is we do dot observe and we say first name, last name. Basically what that's going to do is it's going to watch first name and it's going to watch last name. If it changes, then this function gets run. Remember it's different from computer properties in that it doesn't this function doesn't have a value it's just being run and what we're doing in this function is just updating this value okay 
So let's go back in the browser and see what happens. And I refresh, and as you can see, this changes. Jack power, that function gets run. Just to show you that um, this is not the same as computer properties, and that this adjust full name doesn't have a value. Let's just comment this out, and we do a control dot log, and then we do here um, something like value change and then we go in our browser and look at the console so anytime that we change these values so press the browser we also see here console.log value change and as you can see value change the incrementer is the counter is increasing anytime we change this type something is increasing so that's it guys there you have it those are the differences between um, observers and computer properties and they do have their use cases and you just have to use them a few times and you'll understand what when to use which one and where it took me a while to figure it out but i hope that you guys have understood it in this video and if you didn't um, as usual just send me a message down below in the comments or you can go to my website um, which should be up soon um, just configuring some is issues and um, that's it. I'll so see you in another video. If this was helpful, please comment and subscribe and share with others as well. I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.